so we're going to get started on a few tips on working with Bibles so far we've downloaded the Bibles and I have three versions here so I'm going to show you a few ways to work a bit faster when working with the Bibles especially when you need to display Bibles on the screen let's say for example there's a call to place Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 on the screen you can just come over here you know okay it's in the Old Testament and well on the New King James Version so this is Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 so I select the first chapter here and verse 8 and there you have the verse on the right side on the slide panel so I could just click on the verse and it's activated it's ready to go well of course I have the present switch turned off at the moment but once I click uh, present it shows up like this on the screen on the projector screen so this is what we have right now but let's say the reading goes on and they say okay uh, the book of the law shall not depart from your mouth blah 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 and then it says and then you shall have good success and then he proceeds to the next verse you then have to come back over here and say okay okay that's verse 8 have to cl quickly click uh, verse 9 and many times you have to start searching through here okay which verse is it now which verse is it and it just makes things entirely slow and you want to ensure that you you give everyone a smooth experience you don't want to be the one holding back the preacher or making causing distractions with delays so we want to work as fast and as smoothly as possible so right here let's say there is a a reading coming up joshua chapter one, chapter 1 verse 8 or let's choose something else let's say psalm 23 from verse 1 and you know it's going to be a lengthy reading the best thing to do is just come over here to the search box presently here there is remember there is a there's a, a search icon right here now it's not just an icon to tell you it's a search bar but it also has um, a few options now if I, if I clicked on it right now and what I have here is it, it changes the mode so now I can search for verses containing given words or phrase I can't exactly search for chapters or whatever I can only search for verses containing certain words or phrases or, or words in the verse but when I click it again I'm in a different mode and in this mode I can only search by the name of the book and the chapter chapter number and verse number so here I'm going to just quickly type in Psalm 23 now notice something video Psalm has been designed to make your work as simple as possible so I just press PS and it already knows okay there is no other book name that begins with PS except the book of Psalms so it shows up as Psalms the next thing I can just quickly do is type in 23 and there I have the whole chapter 23 shown up on my slide panel so all I need just need to do is click it out here and say okay the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want next verse immediately I press the down arrow key and I'm on the next verse and so on and so forth and so it is, this is a much faster way to approach uh, Bible presentations instead of quickly or uh, instead of just taking the whole time trying to press uh, type in the verses Psalm 23 verse 4 and then you left with only one verse it's best to just type in only the book name and the chapter specified and then you can scroll around for till you find the required verse so if the preacher has to go further or go to the previous verse you can just quickly select it up here and it's a lot faster without much hassle now i'm going to show you about the other mode let's say there's a you want to search by verse all right and then you're looking for a verse that says um you shall have good success or then you have good success you're looking for verses with the word success in them what you can just do is switch the search mode and this time just type in success and then it lists all the verses that have to do with success and here they are so you could just go through and, and pick them out so this is one way to search but in case you find yourself uh in this kind of issue sometimes it may cause a it may cause an issue and then you, it feels like the search bar is no longer working because you type uh some some 23 and it, it doesn't seem like it, it's not displaying doing what you're supposed to do just remember you just need to you only need to click on the icon there to switch 
the Bible mode. So that's one uh, tip there for you to work with. And there's really not much else to do with uh, Bibles, Bible presentations. It's quite simple. All you just need to do is know the uh, know the Bible translation you're you're to work with. And that reminds me, I just need to show you one last thing about switching translations. Let's say we're reading the, uh, the book of Psalms 23. Or let's pick it a, a, a lengthy one, Psalm 139. Let's go to Psalm 139. Now it's a bit lengthy, you have to scroll. And just imagine we're reading the New King James Version, verse 7. Where can I go from your spirits or where can I flee from your presence? And then the preacher needs to switch to the Amplified Version. So you just go over here and click AMP, switch the Amplified. Now notice over here we have two places outlined. Automatically, verse 1, it just goes to verse 1, which is a bit of a hassle to me. And I really wish the, the uh, developers could fix that and just make it verse, I mean, switch to the current verse. But thankfully, the current verse remains highlighted. So you could just scroll around until you find the highlighted verse and just click on it. It's updated, it gets updated in the preview screen. Where could I go from your spirit or where, I could, where could I flee from your presence? So just don't know that about switching versions. If you have to switch versions, remember you also you have to quickly go and specify the verse again to switch in order to switch versions. So that's that for working with Bibles. In the next uh, session, we're going to be looking at working with songbooks and I'll be showing you how to add your own song lyrics and all.